Hello there and welcome to Season 5 of this West Ham Save on Football Manager 2022. It has been a very good start to the season. We have gone through the first three matches. Uh, basically, I wanted to get through the, uh, the, the transfer window. Um, you can see we are nine points from three, so we are doing very, very well. It's been a very good start. We'll go through those results in a minute. Big news, look at Liverpool, one point from their opening three games and that was their last game, they lost their first two. So we're already eight points ahead of Liverpool, the current champions, which I am delighted with, I am not going to lie. So let's get in and show you the results. So you can see our friendlies there, we don't need to go into those. So we start at home to Manchester City, hard game, a wonder goal from Julian Alvarez and a lovely finish from Diego Jota gave us a comfortable 2-0 win. We then went away to Brighton who... All right, after one match day, we're second. They'd won their opening game. And we won 2-1. Julian Alvarez again with a brilliant goal. And Phil Foden getting what proved to be the winner. And then we went to Goodison. And Everton were second in the league. They'd won their opening two games. And we went there and we won 3-1. Granted, James Garner sending off just into the second half was the turning point and we battered them after that uh, and we, we got the comfortable win in the end so really really happy with that. We have our Champions League group stage and I don't know how to think about it. We went into it as third, uh, was it third seed? I can't remember. Probably second seed actually looking at the way it's listed there. Uh, so we've got Bayern obviously our conquerors in the semi-final of last season's competition and we've got Roma and Feyenoord who we kick off against today. We are away in Rotterdam for the first game. The double header is against Bayern. So there's pressure on us to get results in our first two matches. Um, and we're taking on Leicester to start with in the Premier League. They are currently fourth as it stands. Uh, we've got another trip to Goodison coming up very quickly in the, uh, the EFL Cup third round. So I think all we need to do now is have a look at the transfers. Now, the, there is a reason that I didn't come back and do the first game of the season. It's because we didn't really sell, we didn't really sign anybody. We have spent 60 million quid, uh, but it's not really on first team players, to be brutally, brutally honest, even though we have got one for 29 million here and he will be a first team player. Uh, in terms of players going out, the only ones we've, you can see we've only made five and a quarter million and I'm not even sure where that was from. Who did we make that? Oh, Danny Loder. He went off to Lons in France. I mean, we signed him ages ago for half a million and he's never played for us. He's just been out on loan and we got three, three and a half million. Brilliant. I <laughs> love that. Uh, right. Players that have come in. So what I did, remember when, um, I don't think it was the season review. I think it was the episode before that when I had a quick look at it because they, the, they set the budgets and they hadn't given me any extra money. Uh, so what I thought is, no, no, I got no offers. The only offers that I got for players was uh, for Brandon Williams. Two offers from Fulham. He, you know, you, when you get the offer, he has a little feedback box, doesn't it? And he was, he had no interest in going to Fulham because you wouldn't, would you? Um, so we've had no offers for first team players. So I decided what I will do because they didn't give me any extra money. I was going to spend it. I was going to spend what we had. Uh, so we have brought in a new goalkeeper. Quite like the look of him. Ersin Destinoglu. He is coming from Besiktas. He's only 24 uh, but he looks all right, six foot two. He doesn't look too bad, really. He's good at one on ones, which is good. His reflexes are good. Uh, so yeah, he looks all right. He's, he only wants to be a backup, even though he's on eighty-seven grand a week. So he's not going to be too fussed about sitting on the bench. Uh, so yeah, quite happy to have him in uh, from Dinamo Zagreb. We brought in Dario Havojic, a very very good looking centre back or left back, either footed, which I really like as well. Um, but he's gone out on loan to Venlo in Holland of Netherlands. Sorry. Uh, so looking forward to seeing how he does. Uh, Adam Gedar came in from Amien, but again, he's out on loan at Blackburn. He's a midfielder. Uh, I think that might have been one that our head of youth development brought in. Uh, it was it was to bolster the under 23s more than anything who got relegated last season. But it turns out that they've all gone out on loan, which is good. <laughs> now Moretti we brought in from River, but as part of the deal, he's gone back on loan. Uh, 34 to 41 million is valued at, and we've paid seven and a half for him. Really happy with that. He looks like he could be something special. Uh, Juan Camilo Bentancur again. Signed him from America to Cali in Colombia and he's gone back on loan as part of the deal. Looks like he could be a very, very promising striker indeed. Uh, I'll show you this guy, Santos, at the end. Uh, Grant Dale has come in and he is in the under-23 squad. Uh, looks half decent. 
young English player, looks like he could be fairly good. So we've brought him in for, uh, well, three quarters of a mil, possibly rising to 1.3. And Augustin Maidana has come in, and again, he's back on loan at his, his old club, Independiente, uh, a centre-back. Uh, he's got phenomenal bravery, really good determination. Uh, he's 20, he's six foot one, good in the air. Not particularly strong, um, but I don't mind too much the mentals. They're all right, they're pretty good. So yeah, I'm quite happy with him. This guy, Carlos Sanchez Santos, 29 million quid we paid for him, which was his release clause, I believe. Uh, Spanish from Villarreal, described as a wonder kid. Can't really, dis can't really fault why, can you? It's not hard to see why. Natural fitness of 18, which means these physicals are going to shoot up. Uh, flair of 19, determination of 19, decisions are amazing, visions amazing, technique and passing are um, um, just, he's just off the scale. Uh, his heading's incredible for a five foot nine as well. I mean, he hasn't got the the jumping reach. Obviously, he's five foot nine for God's sake. But when he does get the, you know, he's going to be able to head the ball. So I am so so pleased to have this guy in. And look at it, he's he's sixty eight to ninety eight million. It's insane. And I think I cho uh, he's on the bench. I was going to start him. I was going to start him because we've we've just come off an international break and Phil Foden's very 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 possibly not going to see out the game so i if it wasn't leicester if it were if you know if it was if it was a team at the bottom like liverpool um <laughs> i might have given him a start but i thought we'll go for that the only other real news we've got is thomas suchek gave him a new contract gave him a year's extension gave him a massive pay rise i think he's gone from 110 to 180 a week uh, but he deserves it he's he's been a, he's been a legend for us he's still one of my first choice midfielders even now uh he he deserves it he's only 30 it does take him to 33 I'm very, very happy for him to do it. Very, very happy to sign him up to that. So, God knows how long we've been recording now. It feels like half an hour already. <laughs> so, let's um, let's get into this. Uh, John Karikabaru starts this game. It's his first start of the season. Uh, because Julian Alvarez, he's still a bit tired after, um, after international duty. But he is on the bench, Alvarez. Right. We're in. We've got the latest scores up because we do have Liverpool playing. And it's not going to particularly show us their score at the minute because they're eight points adrift of us. So we'll see how they're getting on. Carrick Brew dropping awfully deep there for an attacking advanced forward. Tellez down the line to Diogo Jota. Oh, and Carrick Brew. Oh, why didn't you go around the keeper? Henderson came and stopped. And now Carrick Brew should have taken the touch and gone around him here, I think. Uh, Alex Tellez. Got to decide what I'm going to do with him. He's into the last year of his contract. He's going to be 33 by the time it runs out. Don't know what I'm going to do with him. Really don't. Um, but going back to transfers as well, top tip for you. If you've got a transfer budget, but you, I, another reason why I didn't want to sign any over 21s is, uh, over t uh, first teamers, over, yeah, over 21s, because under 21s don't have to be registered, uh, is because I've got a squad of 25. I cannot, I can't register any, any, senior players so that I thought I made a decision right I'm going to spend the money on under 21s that can come in they can bolster the under 23s they can uh, they, they can come up and play for the first team when they need to as it turns out they're all out on loan so it, but it was it, that was the idea uh, as Liverpool wow how have they scored twice in the 15th minute Haaland and Salah have made it 2-0 they have scored within seconds of each other mad Obviously got the ball straight back from kickoff, but they're on the they're on the march now. They will eat into that eight point lead of ours very very quickly, I'm sure. Uh, so yeah, top tip: if if you can't sign any first team players because of registrations, um, and the board obviously won't give you any extra money because you've got a healthy transfer budget, just spend it on kids. Just go out and all those young kids that you've got on your trans on your shortlist. Just spend it on them. Just get them in. Get them in. Goal has been given. Pats and Dakar. God damn it. We're a goal down. Yeah, he was on the shoulder. And it's not good from Alex Merritt. Should have come and taken man and ball there, mate. Don't need to see it again. It was it was tight, but it was onside. Right. Oh, let's see what's happening here. Baptiste. Suchek. Baptiste again. Giving him a... I think this is his first start as well. Thought we'd give him a go a game. Jared Bowen. Livermento. Bowen again. Oh, that is terrible. 
cleared away, but Baptiste wins the header. Rice clips it over for Diogo Jota. Played across. Oh, Karakabaru. Snatched. Well, it, not snatched at it. It came at him. He just uh, a bit opportunistic and it hit the keeper at the near post. As James Justin clears that away. Phil Foden plays it back across and Suchek heads over. I'm going to drop and encourage because we're the better team and they scored their only shot. Of course they have. So I don't need to get too upset with them at the minute. Phil Foden's already looking tired, look. Declan Rice is struggling a little bit as well. James Justin has been booked. We have a free kick. Diogo Jota's going to take it. This is 1-1. Here we go. Oh my God, that is awful. Why do we even need to see that? That is not worthy of a highlight, people. Villa have gone in front at Turf Moor. They were behind and they're in front. Right, Jared Bowen coming forward. Let's get this equaliser, boys. Foden, Bowen, Livermento, charged down. Livermento still not got an England cap yet, which is shocking. Oh, and Jota's hit the post. It's going to be one of those games. It's a great chance as Villa go 3-1 up. This is a lovely ball. And he is unlucky, to be fair. It's a good finish. It's just not good enough. Ralph Jimenez has a second for Villa. Or his second of the game. 12 shots, 5 on target. I can't really fault the boys. It's, a, it's not a bad performance. Keep going and we can win this. Why is Karakabaru looking anxious? Right, he looks inspired and motivated now. Rice and Foden are both probably going to come off on the hour at the latest. But that gives Sanchez Santos a chance to make his debut, I think. Suchek heads that corner away and Karakabaru will bring it away. Julian Alvarez is on my radar to come on as well at the moment. Jota. Good turn. What is that? It's a terrible pass. Oh! Hello. Charge the clearance down. Bowen. Foden. Socek. Okay, so it hasn't really helped us. Charging that clearance down. Ah, it's a lovely ball. From Merritt to Rice. Livermento. Foden. Keeps hold of it. Carica Why is Karakabru all the way back there? But oh, and Bowen denied. Dean Henderson's having a storming game. Oh, Norwich have a goal back at Anfield. It was before half time they scored that, apparently. Harvey Barnes coming away. Okay, we, I mean, tackling's optional, boys. You know, don't, don't put yourselves out. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I think Leicester beat Liverpool. Or did they get... That might have been the, the first point. And it was Curtis Jones that scored the goal. I remember that. But it might have ended one all. Like, that might be where Liverpool got their point. Uh, so that was a good save. I wonder... Do we switch the wide players around? Do we, do we switch them around? Get them as attacking wingers. I'm doing this a little bit more often at the minute as well. In games off camera. Um, what are we on? 51. Okay. Rice off for camera. Foden can come off in a few minutes. What are they doing, Leicester? Formation-wise. They're doing a 4-2-3-1. We're, right, we're on the hour. So we'll let this highlight play. And then we will see about a change, maybe. Foden. Oh, go on, hit one, hit one, hit one. Oh, what a save that is. Well, it's just not going to happen for us today. Dean Henderson's just having the game of his career right now. Uh, it, Man City have scored at the Emirates. Foden and Henderson. His ball all day long there. He is... He's just having the game of his life. Right, Phil Foden off. Going to give our little wonder kid his debut. He's got half an hour. I'm going to drop a little demand more in here. Baptiste isn't looking particularly happy. What's wrong with him? He's anxious. Right, Jared Bowen. 
Good run, pulls it across. Karikaburu beaten in the air, or didn't even try. Diogo Jota. So check, there's a run here from Livramento. He's going to hit one and he's put it over. We are peppering them. Uh, Alvarez is going to come on for Jota. Or is it going to be Coleman? Coleman or Alvarez? We'll do Coleman. Socek's also looking tired, but I can only do three, and we've just lost Baptiste to injury. How many times does that happen when you've just made all three subs? I haven't got Declan Rice on the pitch to stick back in defence. Livramento could play in defence. I'm just going to have to put Suchek back there. Um, just going to have to do that, really. Down to 10 with 20 minutes to go. And we're chasing the match. That is really annoying. All I can do now is encourage them. Wow, we've had five bookings. Wow, that is bad. Liverpool are 4 1 up now in their game. A so check hits that forward. Oh, and Kerry Cabrou's in. Oh, what a finish! I had no confidence in him putting that away. But he's in the top corner. And the 10 men are level. Socek with the free kick. And he's just in behind Romero. And Dean Henderson is finally beaten. I'll take a point from this one, boys. I will take a point. I'm just going to drop these guys back. Just so we're a little bit more solid in the centre. So we're playing a 4-4-1 now. But they'll, they'll get forward if they can. Shame we've not seen our new wonder kid. Although we might see a little bit of him here. Let's see. Livramento. Arsenal have equalised. Jeremy Doku. Santos plays it forward there for Coleman. Gets it back. Forward for Karikaburu. Why is... Karikaburu. Is that a player trait of his that he drops back? Oh, Reese Nelson's in. Oh, he's put it wide. That was a big chance. Oh, are we going to win it? Sanchez Santos. In it goes. Oh, he's done it. What is the offside check for there? Sue check. Don't. I didn't even. Yes. Sorry. Just burst your eardrums. It counts. Karikaburu has won it in the 96th minute. What a finish. Ten men and we've won it. We were down to ten at 1-0. And we have turned it around and we have won the game. I, that is... That is sensational. Much better in the second half from Karikaburu. He's got two goals. Gives me a real headache now going forward, which I like, because Alvarez is in really good form as well. I am happy to have that problem, though. It is not an issue. It is a nice, nice problem. Do you have anything to say about the amount of stoppage time? No. There were, we lost a player to injury. So, I don't think there's any issue with, uh, with how much time was added on. What... What a result. That is a massive, massive win. Because it keeps us eight points clear of Liverpool, to be fair. And I know, but they are the current champions. They are the team that I would expect to, uh, to win it again if it isn't us that win it. So I've got to keep an eye on them. So, Jamal Baptiste is out for six weeks. That's a bit annoying. Um, let's have a look. Karika Baru, let's have a little praise of you. Arm around. Love that. Um, James Ward Prowse looks still at Southampton. Ten years, I think he's been... Well, all his career, actually, he's been there. Right, anyway, Champions League time. Let's head off to Rotterdam. 
So we've had quite a lot of games already. We're playing on the Wednesday, so we've already had the first round of games on the Tuesday. Big win for Dortmund and Liverpool and a huge win for Manchester City, putting six past Sevilla. We've had a couple of early games as well. Bayern getting off to a winning start in Rome, although Tammy Abraham did get a brace. He is still at Roma. Uh, he's doing really, really well out there. He's still on my radar to sign as well if we're ever in the market for a striker. Although he's getting very old now. He's 27. <laughs> um, big win for Milan as well against Leipzig in their group. So can we get the win in Rotterdam? Uh, I've made quite a few changes to the team as things stand. So I kind of did it in the, ga in the games leading up because obviously we had tired players. So Brandon Williams and Ayrton Lucas come in. Sven Botman comes in. Maddie Camera and Johnny and Rafinha and Julian Alvarez in up front. Uh, we do have a couple of injuries, as we know. Uh, three weeks for Jamal Baptiste. Ben Johnson's out for a couple of weeks. Kingsley Coleman just picked up a training injury as well, but he's only out for a few days. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's still a good team. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I'm not disrespecting Feyenoord by making all these changes, seven changes. But, I mean, they're all first-team players. And Ayrton Lucas, who was on loan at Real Sociedad, for a spell last season. I want to get him in. I want to give him a chance to see what he can do because it'll condition what I do with Alex Tellez. So I'm going to actually point finger and say, make sure we win this game. The weather out there is less than ideal. Uh, Suchek and Livramento are being rested. Yep. Okay, Suchek is just being rested. They got Darwin Nunez. How the hell have they got Darwin Nunez? That is mad. He's like one of the top prospects in the game. How the hell's he gone from Benfica to Feyenoord? No disrespect to Feyenoord. Early encourage then. Away from home. Tricky, tricky game. Oh, it hasn't... Alvarez frustrated by being encouraged. Sorry, mate. Cater Balde picked out as the, uh, the danger man before the game. Is that... Rafa... Wow, they seem to have a decent squad. Oh, and Nunez is in. But Merritt stands up tall. Todibo saves the corner. It was a good chance. Bakayoko. It's Tiemue Bakayoko as well. He was a big, big star, wasn't he? A few game, a few versions ago, a few years ago on the game. When he was at Monaco and then got the move to Chelsea. And his career has just nosedived since. Right, here's Camero. Whips the ball in for Rafinha! 11 minutes on the clock and we have that nerve settling goal. Brilliant ball from Camera. Diogo Jota around the corner. Camera just clips a delightful ball over and Rafini gets in front of his man and powers the header in. And it is 1 0. So I'm, I'm, I'm in this group with Bayern and Roma. I'm aiming for 10 points. It's a tough ask. It's a tough, tough ask. But I'm kind of, I'm, that's on the assumption that we get six out of Feyenoord and then maybe four out of Roma. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. Um, but I mean, we did beat Bayern in the second leg at home in the semi-final last season. Granted, we were 4-0 down. As, oh, what a finish, Maddie Camera! And he joins Rafinha on one goal this season. But what a goal. Goal and assist from Maddie Camera. Is it Rafinha that plays in? Oh, that is a super ball. Alvarez plays it in field. And that's a sensational finish from Maddy Camera. Daylight, 25 minutes in. It is 2-0. We've scored both our shots on target. I like that. I'm happy with that. And we're top. Uh, yeah, so 10 points, I think, I think is realistic. Anything out of the buying games is a bonus. But if we can beat Roma at home and get a point away and we can do a double over Feyenoord, I think, I think that's good. I think that gets us through. As Rice plays it in for Johnny. Todibo. Lovely ball for Rafinha. Oh, ho, ho, lashed in by the Brazilian. He's ripped that into the top corner. It's an absolute stunner. Rice into midfield for Johnny. And it's Todibo with the assist. It's a brilliant ball. It's a fantastic touch. 
takes him inside the full back and that is inside the top corner spectacular I think is the word let us praise the lads uh, so the uh, Sanchez Santos as well our, our little wonder kid isn't registered for the the Champions League squad it's not quite the same sort of registration you can't have all these under 21 players uh, so yeah he's but he's only 18 19 he's not going to be bothered it's not going to bother him that he's not registered so I'll, I'll, but I will give him plenty of game time especially in games before Champions League matches Brandon Williams Toribo solid solid performance boys fans are all laying already Toribo cross to Botman Rice Maddy Cam oh first time passing and we've lost it thumped forward by the final keeper Ivan Botman just chests it down just doesn't need to head it there's no one there just chests it down and sets us on our way again but Diogo Jota is having another stinker Darwin Nunez on a yellow card whips it across to the far post and Keita Balde's header narrowly off target so both wingers are looking a little bit a little bit tired as that is thumped forward by Meret Bakayoko now to however you pronounce that now Ragani they've got a hell of a squad Feyenoord how have they signed all these players and Meret with a big save Ronaldo Vieira comes on for Bakayoko he was at Leeds wasn't he as a kid oh we're going to see something's going to happen then from the corner because we've seen a clear cut highlight in the build up to it which means they're probably going to score from the corner Guerrero to take headed away by Ragani Kiko Keita Balde and there's Darwin oh and he's put it wide okay we're coming up to the hour still thinking both wingers maybe coming off maybe Declan as well as Keita Balde's in oh why did you not hit that he went for a goal kick that's a you're claiming that as a clear-cut chance really wow right I am who have we got on the bench uh, I could put Alvarez out for Jota and then bring Carrick Abreu off the bench and Rafinha for Foden because Foden loves playing out there and I am going to do three I think Declan for Vlasic and we'll put Johnny through the middle and Vlasic as the advanced playmaker because I like Vlasic in that role drop a praise because we're 3-0 up away from home it's a huge huge scoreline it's a flattering scoreline I mean we're doing well on the possession nearly two thirds but in terms of shots it's a very flattering scoreline that ball is played in and Ivan claims it unchallenged over hit is the word he's going to launch it there it goes Darwin Nunez doesn't get to it Maddy Cameron's giving it them straight back though here's Sam Lammers he's offside there Darwin Nunez it's a really good save from Merritt but he was definitely offside 15 to go come on boys why is Phil Foden already so tired Did, I don't I didn't pay attention to his condition when he was on the bench was he already knackered that's a bit of an error on my part isn't it here he is though unless he's taken a knock and again what the hell is that <laughs> I mean you don't need to run the highlight just start it from here you don't need to run the that stupid free kick and that crappy pass just <laughs> mad right Todibo goes back to Merritt he's gone long Karikabru heads it to Alvarez camera to Foden Karikabru good touch it's an open goal how have you missed Karikabru almost pulled off the he did pull off the impossible he missed an open goal you had 
Oh, but he's going to head in there for 4-0 from the corner. The keeper absolutely made a mess of that one. And Carrick Abreu's brilliant start to the season continues. Does he come for it? He does, but I think Botman gets in his way. Stops him being able to jump for that. And Carrick Abreu puts it away. And it is a flattering 4-0, but I will take it all day long. Goal difference, don't forget. Could yet be crucial. Especially if we get like two draws against Roma. Then goal difference is going to be massive. But that is a brilliant, brilliant result. Julian Alvarez did well. Maddie Camera. Oh, but Alex Merritt with a nine. Love that. Delighted. Love that my keeper's got man of the match there. Deserves it, to be fair. They did have five or six shots on goal, didn't they? Uh, they are getting a day off. It's an exceptional performance. It's a massive result. What else have we had? Real Madrid, PSV have won. Man United have won. Hertha won. Atletico Madrid won. No real surprises there then. And we get 2.4 million. Love that. A couple of lone player reports. And merit. Eight saves. Didn't realise they had that many shots on target. Right, that is it for this one. What a start to the season we are having here. It is five wins on the bounce. If we take away the friendlies out of that. Super, super start. Uh, we are going to come back for the Roma game. Uh, we'll probably do Norwich and Roma. So I'll do Villa and Everton probably. And then we'll probably come back for Norwich and Roma, I think. So that is it for this one. As always, smash a like on this. Hit subscribe. Turn on those notifications as well. It's the start of a brand new season. Are we going to go that further step and win the Premier League this time? I am desperate as well for more domestic trophies. And I really do want to get to the final of the Champions League this time. But it's going to be tough. Join me for it. I'll see you soon.